Now we have a closer look what is happening when we have multiple sides. So we reflect much deeper on the scenario we discussed earlier. What does it mean if, for example, a user from a remote site needs to go to an application hosted in the central data center? We need to understand the identity session then needs to be available on the gateway here on the remote side, on the central side, and on the data center gateway. So we need to understand that the identity sharing is working as expected. If we can access the application, this can be fairly assumed okay. But what if this is not the case? We need to check the identity session sharing and existence first on the gateway closest to the Active Directory server that has learned the original login event. Then we go to the remote gateway. Has this gateway learned the identity session? And has the data center gateway as well the identity session? If this is not the case, you need to review what you are doing. You need to review the configuration for identity sharing. Another aspect we need to understand is what happens to login events. Are login events shared among Active Directory servers, maybe trusted among themselves? Do we have one domain spreading across multiple sites? Do we have multiple domains that are trusted? All these things need to be clarified with the team managing the Active Directory. So we need to have clarification if this is, if login events are shared across multiple sites, because if this is the case, there is no need to configure identity sharing. The only need is then that you have the login event from your policy decision point propagated to the gateway running only as enforcement point. But if login events are not shared across multiple sites, we need to propagate the identity session from a central gateway to remote sites. And we need to make sure that the identity sessions are really everywhere where they are needed. And this may end up in a complicated configuration that is hard to be troubleshooted and understood. So before we start configuring identity sharing across all places, we need to ask ourselves, does this sound like a good idea? Making things complicated if the principle of security is keep it simple. So let's look again at the problem. We need to have an identity session from here being propagated to two other gateways. Is PDP to PEP sharing applicable? Are the gateways managed by the same management server? If not, we need to use the identity broker. If they are, we can configure identity sharing across the internet and across wide area networks. However, keep in mind we have two TCP connections for that. Are these TCP connections allowed in your wide area network? If not, you need to have the identity broker because we remember identity broker uses HTTPS as a communication. Reflect on latency. What is the impact of communication protocols using the wide area network for latency and resilience? If we expect problems, go for identity broker. And if you think you don't have latency and resilience problems, think again. Don't underestimate the complexity of 
identity sharing from PVP to PEP, when it comes to the TCP ports that are used, and more importantly, the IP address that is used to terminate and initiate these connections. Reflecting on that, the main IP address is used by default to establish the connections from the PDP to the PEP and from the PEP to the PDP. So routing must work. And here in this example, you see this IP address will never ever make it across the internet. This is why we have a capability to use another IP address that is part of the security gateways topology to be used for the identity sharing communication channel. Again, before panicking, review the documentation for identity sharing and look into the identity awareness administration guide to understand all the guidelines we provide. A final word on this. If you don't have a diagram, you are lost. You will not be able to configure an environment to, be, to work as expected if you don't have a diagram. And diagram written with a capital D. It must be detailed and accurate and agreed among all parties that are involved. 